Hello and welcome to NDTV. I'm Rohit Kilnani. This is an interview you cannot miss. Veer <laughs> Das, good to see you in New York. Uh, it's good to be here for the Emmys. Big yeah. congratulations for the uh, for the International Emmy nomination. Thank you. Very well deserved, and you continue to make us proud. Thank you. Thank you. Veer, if I scan through social media mm -hmm. uh, in India, you seem to be the most wanted person. Uh, for jokes, uh, I, I guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know. Uh, if that's true or if that's not. Right. You know, uh, you, know you got a lot of feedback for, your, uh, for, the, for the show that you did at the Kennedy Center. Yes. It's an epic place uh, where, you, where you gave a momentous performance mm -hmm. and a lot of people. Uh, what's the kind of feedback that you have received so far? It's, uh, as an artist, you receive all kinds of feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, but this has been millions of people from the country and everywhere, just a humbling amount of love. Right. So that is uh, an amazing thing that I didn't expect. Right. And along with love comes hate as yeah. well. Uh, there's been a lot of that. Uh, did do you, Now that you see both the sides, mm -hmm. uh, is there anything different you would have done? Uh, about the performance? Yes. About the things you said? I think laughter is a celebration. Oh. And when laughter and applause fill up a room, that's a moment of pride. Oh. And I think that any Indian who has a sense of humor right. or understands satire or watches my entire video right. knows that that's what happened in that room. Right. You, you, were very, you, know, you said uh, watch it in totality and don't watch excerpts and that's, that's something that... So were you expecting, you know, because if you say these things, if you mm -hmm. say uh, lines like, you know, uh, if you mention uh, we run over farmers and if you mention we gang rape women in India, you, you would along be... With the good along, side with the, along with the good side and yeah. the bad side and yeah. you balanced it through the, sh through the show. Yeah. You must be expecting some kind of a reaction. I think a comedian puts out satire. Right. Um, and if it's the good of the country and the bad of the country, right. ending in the good of the country. Right. I think that's... Uh, something that you should want to come together in. Right. So I can't expect what will happen when I put out a piece of content. It's, right. uh, it's, it's not in your hands. Yeah, it's not in my hands. Okay. You know, but the minute it becomes, you know, there's a complaint file, you know, there's a, some uh, home minister in Madhya Pradesh said you won't be allowed to perform in Madhya Pradesh. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, do you, what do you have to say to them? I, I'll have to cross those bridges mm -hmm. um, when, it comes. when we come to those, you know, um, humbly. Right. So, uh, if so, for the next performance when you go in, all eyes are going to be on you. Will you do? Will, will you this time because of the kind of feedback there is? Are you going to be slightly more careful, or or you will? Will, it, will this change you? This episode. I've made my country laugh for ten years now. Yeah, you have. I've devoted my life to writing about my country. Right. We're here at the Emmys because I wrote a love letter to my country. Right. As long as I'm able to do comedy, I will keep writing love letters to my country. Right. Great. Uh, you know, so on that note, we also want to ask you about Emmys. Mm -hmm. um, on one side, there, you know, there's a complete different reaction. You and I are sitting in New York. Yeah. Uh, you, are, you, you know, th this also makes India very proud that you, if you, you know, to get to the nomination firstly. Yeah. And if you win, that's even better. Um, do you, how, how do you see this contrast? On one, one side, people are saying one thing. Here, people are, you know, people will be on the red carpet taking your autographs and pictures. I don't think so much about any of that. I, I ne I've never expected to be nominated for anything in my entire life. I don't right. expect to get dinner this evening. Like, that's just who I am. Uh, I'm... Uh, you know, I write jokes in the morning and then I tell them in the evening. Right. And if I'm, that's it. I, I don't think right. about these large things. Right. Veer, what is the way forward for comedians? Like, you know, if you, 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 you're facing this. Um, maybe there's a young stand-up comic who's watching this interview. What is the way forward? Like, this, you have to take one show at a time and life one day at a time. How does one go move forward and write jokes? Because this will keep going on. I don't know. I think, I, I just don't know. You know, uh, write jokes and hope to hell that people watch all of them, uh, right. it, the full thing right. uh, in its actual context. Right. You know, when, when, um, when you tie up with Netflix for mm -hmm. a show, um, I, like this time you put your content on YouTube yeah. and last time you tied up with Netflix. Mm -hmm. How does this work for you? Because on YouTube, you can, I mean, I feel, you, please correct me, uh, you can put out your own content and but there will be, is there some, you know, uh, censorship when it comes to platforms? I'm not aware of any censorship uh, across any of them. Okay, you you've know. never been told to tone down the joke? No, these are jokes. People enjoy jokes. They love jokes. People love to laugh. 